Morning, everyone. Welcome to Malibu. Bright, sunny, windy day today. And uh, you know what? You guys like the oddballs. I like the oddballs. So we're we're throwing you a weird one here. This is uh, Arian. Thank you so much for coming down, Thanks sir. Thanks for having me. Uh, not spelled like the nation. You creeps in the internet. It's different. And uh, this is your 2001 Chevy S10 pickup. Tell me about it. 2001 Chevy uh, S10 ZQ8 package. Um, I've lowered it additionally from that with spindles and blocks. Um, blocks from JTR has the uh, drive shaft alignment kit in it, as well as um, cold air intake from k &N and a, a throttle body spacer with uh, Flowmaster 40 exhaust. So basic bolt-on, little suspension, a little motor, but more importantly, this is the V8. This is the, the 4.3, or is it? The V6. It's a, it's a 6. Yeah, it's the biggest Why did I 6 think, model. Oh, I heard 5.3. I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> it is a 6. Okay, I don't know why I heard a V8, but it's a 6, so let's 6 it up. More importantly, it's a stick. So uh, parking brake release right there. Let's go for a drive. I've, I've never driven one of these before. What? I've never driven any S10 of this era ever. Although I will tell you that my good friend Larry Casilla, he's a, a, a well-known detailer, ammo products. His dad had one of these, the ZR2, and he used to snow plow with it, and he beat the hell out of it. Right. And uh, it took a pounding. Well, it revs smoothly. This, I guess it's the Vortec engine, right? Right. Vortec V6? Okay, cool. Technically, I think it's the uh, like CPI, but yeah, it's Vortec. It has the Vortec heads. Well, the shifter's easy. The clutch is easy. The pedals are nice. Actually, this would be kind of a nice thing to learn to drive stick on. Kind of forgiving, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yes. How much power do you think this, this thing's supposed um, to make? I mean, it makes 190 horse and uh, I think 245 or something like that uh, pound feet of torque. Well, for considering that it's lowered, it rides pretty well, actually. And this is your daily driver for an hour and 20 commute each way every day? Yes. Oh, my God. You're a champion. I don't know, actually, the single cab is where, where you would kind of lose me because I couldn't maintain this position every day. Right. And you're not short. You're a, you're a tall gentleman. Down. I, it works for me. I, I, my back isn't too bad yet. I, I'm I'm impressed. You're a <laughs> you're a healthy uh, a healthy gentleman. Well, you know what's crazy? What? It's it's kind of nice. Like you, the the memory of these trucks is that they're sort of pieces of crap, and yet to get in it and and drive it, it actually feels very tight and solid. I'm impressed. How many miles are on this thing? 160,000. Really? Yeah. And it's the original engine. It's the original engine, yeah. Original uh, original gearbox as well? Yep. As far as you know? Yep. Did you how, what, how, what was on it when you bought it? The cold air and the throttle body and actually the exhaust. So all I've really done is some outside looks and the normal maintenance and lower it. Well, and so I did all front, all new, you know, front uh, steering and suspension, so shocks. And then in the back, I got uh, air shocks as well. Uh, both of those are AC Delco. And you mentioned earlier that your air shocks, that it's not an onboard compressor. You have to hook it up to a compressor oh, right. in your garage. Oh, right, just like you fill your tires up. Yeah, just yeah. Right. Is that an easy thing to do if you have to do it on the fly? Oh, yeah. I just did it this morning. Just pumped them up to like 40 PSI. Makes the handle a little bit um, more solid. And well, if you're on straight roads like this, where, where it's not so bad, it's, it's not bad at all. I well, lower it down the for- The ride is nice. It's not bad. I mean, maybe on the 405 with the expansion. Oh, points. it totally does. Oh. On the 405 with a, if I have it any higher than like 35, 40, yeah. it's horrible. It does that da, 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 the whole time. Okay, let's talk about brakes. <laughs> it's stock. They're actually, you know, it's brand new calipers relatively, you know, a couple months now. Yeah. And it has the carbon fiber ceramic Big pads. Guy. But uh, no, it, the brakes still suck. <laughs> well, there's drums in the back. Right, and it yeah. has the drums in the back. But your engine, it revs very smoothly. There's not a lot of vibrations or anything. Dare I say it's it's smoother than the uh, Toyota Tacoma of this period. Really? I, I think, maybe. Oh, oh, there, it was bound Finally to happen. Rolled. It was bound to happen. I haven't got it to ever do that. Really? Yeah. Well, it, I guess I'm not driving up, it hard up, enough. Up, yeah, you gotta, you gotta turn <laughs> the wheel harder, so. Right. Up, now we get to the bottom of the hill where the wind is, yep. and I can feel the wind blowing around a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, can I tell you that this is a much more refined experience than I expected it to be? For I was real. hoping it would be. I was yeah. hoping it would be. Hey, 
I had the, the memory of these trucks and the my prediction for how they would last over time is drastically different from the reality. Hmm. It's actually pretty tight and there's not there's really no slop in the steering. I mean it's clearly truck steering, but it's not like it's a sloppy mess, it's predictable. Right. Oh, this is a nice little truck. I you must be able to pick these things up pretty cheap now too, right? Yeah, I got this for thirty-four and then right I put a couple grand into it. Yeah. Well, I mean, and it's been has it been reliable? Does it work properly? Yeah, yeah, it gets me to work every day, right? hundred miles. <laughs> hundred miles a day. What's your fuel economy like on that drive? Actually, um I do the 101 uh -huh. into the valley every day from you know Oxnard area, and I get like 22. Do you really? Yeah. And it's a five-speed, huh? Right. Wow. I think a lot of it has to do with the five-speed. And all five-speeds, I believe, came with 308 gears, so it's very high gearing. Yeah, yeah, it's highway gearing. Right. Well, it's not the kind of truck that inspires me to go out and beat on it, but this has been an interesting education so far in that this, this thing did not totally fall apart after 16 years and in fact it feels pretty good i imagine this is sort of what it felt like when it was new i mean i it's it revs nice and the clutch is good and everything feels strong and tight that garbage truck is going to prove interesting how's your turning radius not too oh, bad it's, not the worst yeah i love a manual pickup truck Something about a manual pickup truck that is just really appealing. All right, we're going to go full throttle. It's not so bad. <laughs> Have you got, it, it scoots a little bit if you need the power. And is it a four, is this a four by or is this rear wheel drive only? No, this is, yeah, two wheel drive. Just rear wheel drive. Just rear wheel drive. Yeah. Uh-oh. Maybe this garbage man will stop and we can go around them lights on that would be brilliant easy to rev match though this would be a great kind of thing for someone to learn to drive stick in <laughs> maybe he's gonna stop and pick up that dumpster will he wave us by is this this looks like a wave by yeah it does <laughs> oh yes I like this a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> That's I thought, a fun little truck. Even you, you had your suspicions that we were doing this as sort of a gag or something like that. Right. You said, well, it's going to be a random. You're like, I like doing random things. I do like randoms. I, I mean, this. I've never driven an S10. They're so much better than I, <laughs> than I would have thought. I love getting an education and stuff like this. It's really nice. Having an open mind is very important, people. I'll tell you what it is affected by camber in the road. Because you've got that that sort of area in the middle of the steering where nothing happens, right? And if the you find yourself, oh, I got to put in a few degrees that way, a few degrees that way, depending on the camber, right? Wee! Look at this. Our pickup truck, not bad. Do you ever follow your economy shift light? Um, no, <laughs> no. All right. What are you going to do with this thing next? There's it. Is it just going to um, be what it is, or are there more projects? For if the, I or? could, if I, you know, eventually my my goal has always been for both my S10s, uh, LS1 T56. Ah, okay. Uh, or you know, any LS motor would be I, great. I've or seen that before. With the right, with the with the six speed. Would be great. You look like you could be a guest on Roadkill, so maybe you could get a junkyard LS and put a turbo on it or <laughs> something. <laughs> That'd be radical. Oh my God! It's so windy. It's super windy today. The aerodynamics of the S10 are coming into play. Oh, yeah. Oh, this must have been a fun drive down the PCH this morning. Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah. Been, I can feel it. It's being blown over. I don't know if you guys can see the trees out the front camera, but uh, it's windy. Tumbleweed. Wide around the tumbleweed. I don't think the S10 gets enough credit. I really don't. It's a good little truck. It really, and when you, a lot of these trucks, I mean, not just the S10, but a lot of, like, a used, smaller pickup truck. How nice is a small pickup truck? I mean, I can get in and out of traffic. I can park easily. And you can load stuff into it. Like, yeah. I had a Raptor, which was awesome, and it's really, it's, it's the exact opposite end of pickup truck than the S10. <laughs> yeah. But I found after, like, a year of doing it, I was like, God, I have to lift these camera All cases the way really high. Yeah. And you have to, like... You have to get in and out of the bed to move stuff around. Like here, you can just reach over. Like the idea of a 
of a truck that you can just reach stuff in from the ground is very appealing. What does, uh, if you were to put a bunch of stuff in the bed, how do you adjust your shocks for that? Is there a... Just plug in, I got an air compressor at home, so I'll put, plug it up to like 80 PSI. Okay. And I can throw like, you know, 400 pounds in it. Oh, cool, it yeah. too bad at all. All right, but you, it does require a bit of an adjustment. Yeah, I mean, otherwise it's going to be sagging down in the back. Just more of a look thing. Well, but, you got to look good while you're hauling your refrigerator, exactly, right? Right. I have a St. Bernard puppy, and he's already 120 pounds, so it makes it really easy to load him in and out. Does he go in the back? Yeah, well, we have a crate, and I'll, you know, strap the crate in, but yeah, he'll just go in the crate. All right. Well, at least he hasn't, like, wrecked your interior yet. No. He doesn't ride, he doesn't ride shotgun? No. He's too big to ride shotgun. He'll destroy your interior. Well, I have to give you credit, Ari. A, you've kept this truck very nice. Your modifications haven't ruined it. It rides and handles well. I mean, despite being low, it's, you know, you have to really load it up to get it to rub. Is it is it height adjustable as well, or just uh, just the damper adjustable? No, yeah, just, uh, it, it is what it is. Okay. <laughs> no you ever thought, have you thought about doing airbags, maybe, at some point? Um, I, I've thought about doing the QA1 adjustable, right, the coilovers. Uh-huh. And those, uh, those I hear, when you put this, them on here, you know, that makes it considerably better. But, uh, no, I have never thought about bagging. I, just not an air ride type of guy. Not, not an airbag guy? I've always, I've actually been surprised by the airbags I've used. They've, they've actually been pretty good. This, uh, this is a great little truck, though. I mean, for for 3500 bucks plus, uh, plus a little bit of your own, right. I think you've done well. Huh. Thank you so much. This is such an interesting experience. I love, I mean, I... I can get enough joy out of this as I can driving a McLaren or something. Actually, that that's a lie. That's not true. <laughs> McLarens are more fun. But but this this is good. Thank you so much, Aaron. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And thank Aaron for coming. And we'll see you guys next time.